Donald Trump, the president wants a new toy for his Air Force, brand new fighter jet. But we're here for a reason today. I'm thrilled to announce that the United States Air Force is moving forward with the world's first sixth generation fighter jet. Be more technologically advanced, it's also viewed as essential to keep up with China. More lethality, more speed, more range, additional weapons. What if the most powerful fighter jet in the world is no longer a jet at all? What if air superiority is no longer decided by who turns tighter, flies faster, or sees first, but by who thinks faster, networks deeper, and adapts in real time? And what if the pilot in the cockpit is no longer the brain of the aircraft, but just one node inside a much larger living combat system? That is the reality of sixth generation air dominance. Global powers are no longer designing aircraft in isolation. They are building air dominance ecosystems, vast interconnected webs of manned stealth aircraft, artificial intelligence co-pilots, autonomous drone wingmen, adaptive stealth technologies, as well as cloud-based combat networks that stretch across various domains such as air, space, cyber, and beyond. This is not the next fighter jet. This is the end of the fighter jet as we know it. To better understand what sixth generation air dominance really means, we must move past marketing terms, plus futuristic artwork, and focus on five core pillars, reshaping aerial warfare. One, AI co-pilots and cognitive cockpits, from pilot workload to machine-assisted dominance. For over a century, air combat revolved around human limits. How much information could a pilot process? How many sensors could they monitor? How quickly could they react under stress? By the time fifth-generation fighters entered service, pilots were already reaching cognitive overload. Stealth jets like the F-22 and F-35 fused sensor data but the human pilot remained the bottleneck. Six generation systems aim to remove that bottleneck. The intelligence co-pilot is not autopilot. It is not a glorified warning system. It is a cognitive partner, a machine intelligence designed to perceive, analyze, predict, and recommend actions faster than any human could. Inside a sixth generation cockpit, the pilot no longer manages systems. The pilot manages intent. Instead of asking, what is happening? The pilot asks, what do I want to achieve? The intelligence co-pilot continuously digests data from radar, infrared sensors, electronic warfare systems, satellite feeds, cyber intelligence, and friendly platforms across the battle space. It prioritizes threats, predicts enemy behavior, and proposes courses of action, sometimes executing them autonomously, unless overridden. This fundamentally changes air combat decision-making. A human might see an enemy aircraft. The co-pilot sees probabilities, intercept vectors, missile engagement zones, fuel constraints, enemy doctrine, and likely responses. A human reacts. The co-pilot anticipates. Cognitive cockpits replace traditional displays with adaptive interfaces. Information appears only when relevant. Audio cues, haptic feedback, and intelligence-generated summaries reduce mental strain. The aircraft becomes less like a machine and more like a thinking extension of the pilot. In high-intensity combat, milliseconds matter, intelligence co-pilots compress the decision loop, detect, decide, and act faster than adversaries relying on human-only cognition. Air dominance in the sixth generation era begins not with speed or stealth, but with cognitive superiority. Two, autonomous drone wingmen, collaborative combat aircraft, and the death of the lone fighter. The image of a single fighter jet dueling another in the sky is obsolete. Sixth generation warfare replaces that image with formations of manned and unmanned systems working as one. These are known as collaborative combat aircraft or CCAs. Autonomous drone wingmen designed to fly alongside manned aircraft, receiving high-level commands, but making independent tactical decisions. A single sixth-generation manned aircraft may control multiple drones simultaneously. Some will act as scouts, penetrating deep into contested airspace. Others will carry weapons, electronic warfare payloads, or decoys. Some may exist solely to absorb enemy fire. The key is not remote control, but collaboration. They do not wait for human input. Instead, interpret mission goals, adapt to changing conditions, and coordinate with each other using swarm logic. If one drone is destroyed, the others reconfigure automatically. If a threat emerges, drones reposition themselves to shield the manned aircraft or execute a coordinated strike. Shifting the risk calculus of air combat. Instead of risking a $150 million aircraft and a human life, commanders can send expendable autonomous systems into the most dangerous zones. The manned aircraft becomes a command hub, staying at a safer distance while orchestrating the fight. Numerical advantage no longer depends on pilot training pipelines. It depends on software, production scalability, 
and autonomy maturity. In future conflicts, the side that fields smarter, more adaptable drone swarms will dominate the air, even if their manned fleet is smaller. The fighter pilot becomes a battle manager, not a duelist. 3. Adaptive Stealth and Shapeshifting Signatures Stealth that changes, not hides. Traditional stealth was static. Aircraft were designed to reduce radar cross-section at specific frequencies and angles. But as detection systems improved, static stealth became less effective. Sixth-generation platforms pursue adaptive stealth, the ability to dynamically alter an aircraft's signature in response to threats. This includes shape-shifting surfaces, advanced metamaterials, and electronic countermeasures that actively manipulate how the aircraft appears across radar, infrared, visual, and electromagnetic spectra. Instead of simply being hard to see, a sixth-generation aircraft can appear differently depending on who is looking and how. Against one radar, it might appear as noise. Against another, as a false target. Against infrared sensors, its heat signature may fluctuate to blend with background conditions. Adaptive stealth is not about invisibility. It is about confusion and misdirection. When combined with electronic warfare and drone decoys, the battle space becomes saturated with false signals. Enemy air defenses struggle to determine what is real, what is a decoy, and what demands immediate engagement. This erodes the enemy's kill chain. Sensors feed bad data. Shooters hesitate. Decision makers lose confidence. Air dominance is achieved not by avoiding detection entirely, but by overwhelming the enemy's ability to interpret reality. In sixth generation warfare, perception itself becomes a weapon. 4. Combat Cloud Integration Air combat as a distributed brain? Perhaps the most revolutionary aspect of sixth generation air dominance is that no platform fights alone, not even conceptually. Every aircraft, drone, satellite, ship, ground unit, and cyber system feed into a shared combat cloud. A real-time, AI-enhanced network that fuses data across domains. This is not simple data sharing. It is distributed cognition. A threat detected by a satellite can trigger a response from a drone hundreds of miles away. A naval radar can cue an airborne interceptor. A cyber intrusion can disable enemy sensors moments before a kinetic strike. The aircraft is no longer the center of the fight. The network is. In this environment, Losing an individual platform does not collapse the system. The network reroutes, adapts, and continues functioning. Redundancy replaces fragility. However, this also creates new vulnerabilities. Jamming, cyber attacks, and data poisoning become existential threats. Protecting the combat cloud is as important as protecting the aircraft themselves. Sixth generation air dominance requires not just superior aircraft, but information dominance, control over data flows, encryption, AI trustworthiness, and network resilience. The nation that owns the skies will be the nation that owns the network. 5. Global powers developing, 6th generation systems. A race not just of technology, but of doctrine. The United States, China, and Europe are all pursuing 6th generation concepts, but with different priorities and philosophies. The United States Next Generation Air Dominance Program emphasizes flexibility, modular design, and rapid iteration. Instead of a single aircraft expected to last decades, the U.S. envisions a family of systems that evolves continuously, driven by software upgrades and modular hardware. China is focusing heavily on AI integration, mass production of autonomous systems, and deep sensor networks. Its approach suggests a belief that future air dominance will favor scale and coordination over individual platform superiority. Europe's future combat air system emphasizes multinational integration, shared combat clouds, and ethical frameworks for human-machine teaming, reflecting both technological ambition and political complexity. Across all these programs, one truth is clear. The decisive factor will not be who flies the fastest jet, but who integrates intelligence, autonomy, stealth, and networking into a coherent, resilient ecosystem. The nations that fail to adapt will find their legacy aircraft outpaced not by speed, but by knowledge. The meaning of sixth generation air dominance. From machines to systems, from pilots to ecosystems, sixth generation air dominance is not an incremental step forward. It is a clean break from how air power has been understood for over a century. This is not about building a faster jet, a sharper radar, or a deeper weapons bay. It is about redefining what air combat even means. In the sixth generation era, dominance is no longer measured by the performance of a single platform, but by the quality of the relationships between many platforms operating as one. It means air combat is no longer centered on aircraft alone, but on interconnected webs of crewed fighters, uncrewed wingmen, satellites, sensors, cyber nodes, and command systems. Every element feeds the others. 
data flows faster than pilots can speak. Decisions are shaped by algorithms before a human ever pulls a trigger. Victory belongs to the side that can sense, decide, and act as a unified organism rather than a collection of individual machines. Pilots are no longer lone warriors in the sky, but commanders of machine teams. The cockpit becomes a command node, not just a seat. A single pilot may direct multiple autonomous aircraft, assigning roles, shifting formations, and delegating risk. Human judgment remains central, but it is amplified, extended through artificial intelligence and automation that handle speed, scale, and complexity beyond human limits. It means stealth is no longer static, but adaptive. Instead of relying solely on shape and materials, six generation systems actively manage their signatures, electromagnetic, infrared, acoustic, changing how they appear from moment to moment. Stealth becomes behavior, not just design. Survival depends on constant adjustment within a contested, sensor-saturated battle space. It means battles are no longer localized to a patch of sky, but networked across domains. Air, space, cyber, sea, and land blur into a single fight. A decision made in orbit or in a server farm thousands of miles away can decide the outcome of an aerial engagement in seconds. Above all, it means the future of air power will belong to those who master complexity, not just technology. The skies of tomorrow will not be ruled by the best aircraft. They will be ruled by the best ecosystems. If you want to truly understand the future of warfare, not the headlines, not the hype, but the systems reshaping global power, stay engaged, question assumptions, and keep learning. Share this video, challenge it, and dive deeper into how technology is redefining dominance in the air. Because the next war will not begin with a dogfight, it will begin with a decision, made by a machine, in a network at the speed of thought. Stay blessed, and stay curious.